It's the Daily Dog. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Daily Dog. Happy that you're here today. Today, it's just a short one. Uh, I, uh, I just needed to throw up a flare for historical significance. Today is, is December 9th, 2020. And I just wanted to take a moment to remember where I was today when I heard the news that um, we lost more people today to the COVID uh, virus than we did on September 11th, 2001. Today was a deadlier day in America due to this one thing than, um, than a, these terrorist attacks almost 20 years ago that still reverberate around the world and impact our lives almost on a daily basis. I remember exactly where I was on September 11th. I remember exactly what the weather was like that day. I remember going into the grocery store and nobody talking to each other and people just being white in the face, just afraid of what was about to, to come. Um, <laughs> we went to get groceries because we didn't know if we were gonna you know, have to bunker ourselves, you know, because we lived halfway between New York and uh, Philadelphia. Today, it's just a Wednesday because America has lost its mind. And I'm just, I'm, I'm having a hard time controlling my rage and anger for, um, amidst my, my own trauma and my own just anxiety and uh, just heartfelt sadness about what's going on in this country. All of these people and families that are having to go through this and deal with this um, and all of the reverberations that happen as a result of this, it's, it's maddening. And um, I keep uh, one of the things that I that I do naturally. It's 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 call it a perk of my personality is I solve problems. I that that's what I enjoy doing. I love taking a complex system and dissecting it and figuring out how it works. It's why I enjoy uh, writing music is because uh, music is a very highly complex system and um you know i keep trying to come up with the answer and it's it seems or or, or come up with a diagnosis and figure out how to how to solve the problem it's just how my mind works and i keep coming to the same conclusion y'all that that uh this is a solvable problem but uh the american people seem to be um unwilling to prioritize solving it. Um, <laughs> at least they're unwilling to, to put um, the good of the country ahead of their own uh, self-interest or their own uh, political credibility. And it's infuriating. And um, yeah, I don't know what end is in sight. I, uh, there, there, the good news is there are, are vaccines that are now becoming available and hopefully by March, April of next year, there will be an, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. But for the foreseeable future, we're going to have 9-11 every day. And I'm having trouble dealing with that. When I know that it could have been avoided if we would have had a, a, a federal government and quite frankly, state governments that were interested in working with each other and actually recognized the problem and prioritized the safety and health of people. Wednesday, December 9th, 2020, over 3,000 people died because the American people allowed it to happen Um, I pray for um, the hearts and minds of people in this country 
to be moved to action, to empathy, to uh, prioritize people over property. Man, it'll be a great day when, when that happens. That's an America I'd like to live in someday. Just wanted to, th to throw that out there, guys. Uh, it's, it's just difficult to, to, uh, to feel all of these things and, and feel like there's nothing you can do about it. But uh, one of the things that I uh, figured out that I could do about it is just voice it and talk about it. As our good friend, Mr. Rogers uh, once said, what is mentionable is manageable. Let's keep the dialogue going and uh, try to stem the tide and try to actually start being the America that we can be. <sighs> yeah. Well, that's, that's it for tonight. Uh, we'll see you next time on the Daily Doug with hopefully uh, a more cheerful Doug. But uh, for tonight, it's just... Um, just sort of wallowing a little bit and just really sad and um, just wanted to connect with you guys and um, and with my future self who will probably watch this back and just to mark the tape. December 9, 2020, over 3,000 people died from COVID. May they rest in peace.